World Peace and Role of India World Peace The fear of war hangs heavily on mankind from times immemorial. History shows many incidents wherein wars have been a severe hindrance for peaceful coexistence of human beings. Wars bring disaster not only to the defeated but also to the victorious. The recent growth of science and technology has created not only the number of destructive weapons but also their power of destruction. Different countries of the world joined the two wars. So the disasters of these wars spread over a wide area. Moreover, by the time of World War II, there was much technological improvement when compared to one at the time of World War I. Naturally, the harmful power of the various destructive weapons of war increased very much during this period due to the growth of science and technology. Besides USA, the biggest country of the world, which was neutral in World War I for some reasons, joined the Allies in the World War II. Thus, in World War II, there was an immense loss of life and prosperity. In addition, two cities of Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, were almost smashed in the war. Scientists believe that if there is any world war again, the entire world will be destroyed within seconds. Many countries therefore realized the importance of world peace. That was why after the First World War, the League of Nations and after the Second World War, the United Nations Organization were instituted for establishing the world peace. Non-Alignment Policy There are many independent countries in the world with differences in their policies and attitudes. Some have adopted socialist policies while the policies of some are known to be basically capitalist ones. In 1954, India and China made an agreement with each other regarding Tibet by elaborating the principle of peaceful coexistence. It is called Panchshil. If Panchshil is practiced in its true spirit, fear and anxiety due to external aggression can be eliminated and there will be a deep foundation for world peace. After the Second World War, some Western countries formed a military bloc headed by USA. India didn't like to join any of these two blocs. It felt that a policy of non-alignment to any of these two blocs would enable it to develop an independent policy of international affairs. Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, President Tito of Yugoslavia, President Nazar of Egypt are the pioneers in formulating the non-alignment movement. They had profound faith in ideals of world peace, coexistence, cooperation and fraternity. Having set up two military blocs referred to above, United States of America and Ernst Weil USSR emerged as two world powers in the world politics. Under these circumstances, a few countries such as India and Yugoslavia with the encouragement of some other countries decided to form a friendly group to arrest the supremacy of these two world powers.